This is part two of my tutorial on how to modify the LG View using Microsoft Windows XP Professional or Home. Uh, if you have Windows Vista or a Mac, you can look in the sidebar for links for your operating systems as I have split this up into uh, several different uh, uh, versions of this tutorial to help those with different operating systems. So to continue and part two, we're going to go over uh, and show you how to download and install all of the programs that you're going to need for your modding efforts. <clears throat> okay, first thing you need to do is come to your internet browser. I'm personally using Mozilla Firefox. Now, the first thing that you need to do is make sure that all of your downloads are going to your desktop. So you can click on Tools and select Options. And on the main uh, tab, you want to come down and make sure that your downloads are uh, show the download window and all this stuff, but make sure that they are saved uh, save files to your desktop. Okay, so make sure that is selected. If this does not say desktop, you can come over here and click browse, and then you can just highlight desktop and click OK, and desktop will appear there, and then you can click OK. Now let's continue. The first thing that we're actually going to go get is called a program called WinRAR. You can find this at www.downloads.com. Okay, once you arrive at downloads.com, you will see a keyword search bar here. You want to type in WinRAR, W I N R A R, and hit the red magnifying glass there, and you're going to see. Uh, two different versions here for the 32-bit operating system and a 64-bit operating system. And you're going to need to know what kind of bit operating system that you're running and I would like to show you that now. So you click on start uh, and you want to click run and here you want to type in M-S-I-N-F-O three sorry three two and hit enter that's going to pull up a little box, I hope. Mm. Oh, there we go. Yeah, slow. <clears throat> and here you're going to see, uh, right here, uh, x86, uh, which is basically the 32-bit operating system. So uh, X64 would be a 64-bit operating system. Okay, so there you go. Now you know which one you need. Uh, you can come over here and just select the download link. Once you hit download now, it's going to thank you for downloading WinRAR and it's going to pop up a save box. You click save file. You're going to see here uh, that uh, it saves. You can close that box and minimize your window. And you will see it appear just like this on your uh, desktop. Double click that and click run and click install. It's going to install WinRAR and you want to make sure that all these are uh, just like mine here. Uh, the only one that will be unchecked is jar files which if you're going to get into um, uh, hacking games and things like that you can come back and, and select that in the settings later. So click that and click done and WinRAR is installed. <coughs> and then it's going to show you where it actually put it. Uh, you'll see document setting all users, whatever. Okay, so the next thing that you need to come back to your internet browser and type in www.lg-vu.com and hit search. Let me explain just a little bit about this site really, really quickly. You need to be a member of this site in order to download any of the t following tools. So if you haven't already signed up for this site, lgview.com, go ahead and do so and make sure that you're signed in and on the home page. You can click home to re-ensure that you are. Okay, uh, the first thing that we're going to actually go after is the LG View modem driver. So you want to come down to modding tools and downloads, click that, and the very top uh, post here will be uh, drivers required prior to using EFS File Explorer. 
and <clears throat> once it gets loaded if you have the TU915 you can uh, select this link uh, this is uh, f it's got the backup tool and all that good stuff and that's only if you have the TU915 if you have the CU915 or the CU920 Windows Update should have it but if it doesn't um, you can simply come right down here and click this link uh, right here this rapid share download link and it's going to take you to rapid share uh, of course select free user <clears throat> and it's going to count down hopefully my connection is running very slow it's going to count down from 30 seconds 45 seconds depend on, depends on how much uh, you actually use this um, this internet website to download things just let this download like I said this tutorial is going to be in, in little parts so I don't know how far we're going to get with each part but uh, just bear with me uh, and you'll get it modded okay um, once you have it uh, once it's counted down, you'll see a blue download link appear right there. You need to click that, and it's going to pull up a box, hopefully. There we go. Uh, you can click Save File. Will you stop it? Okay. It's going to uh, download now. Okay, and you can close that box and minimize your window. Make your icons appear and voila, there it is. Okay, don't worry about using anything yet. We're just going to download and line them up and we're going to use them a little bit later. Okay, next thing we got more than seven minutes. Okay, so now come back to lgview.com re-ensure that you're on the home page and that you're signed in come back down to modding tools and downloads and this time you're going to go to connect your phone with EFS file explorer it doesn't matter what version of the phone you have um, you click this link right here, this rapid share download link. <clears throat> and we're going to have to go through it all again. Free user. There we go, 45 seconds. Sorry that I'm dragging everything out so much, but I want to be perfectly clear with you on how to do this, because it can be very difficult. Once it has counted down, you're going to see the blue download link there. Click that, and hopefully a box will pop up, and just save the file. It will save. Once it is saved, you can close that box and minimize your computer there. Ignore that doc. Sorry about that. And there is the EFS tool. It will be called um, LG underscore KU990 EFS tool. Okay, so now what you need to do now is come back for part three and we'll go ahead and get LG MDP and, um, and we'll uh, download the extended interface package and we'll start installing.